Well, welcome back to Channel On. I'm back on another Red Zone heater. After that last video I sent out, a friend of mine called me up and says, you know what, I've got one of those. You can have it if you want to try to fix it. He told me what was going on is it just beeps continuously all by itself and also the control panel is not working. Sometimes you push the button, it does something completely different. Uh, luckily enough, I had torn one of these apart a while back before the one I fixed that I showed you and I found the problem with that one. So I'm going to show you how to eliminate this problem. The, the problem with this is, is once I do that, you have to have the remote to operate the heater. So if you don't have the heater, uh, this fix is not going to take care of that problem. So let's go ahead and shut this down and uh, dig into it. So what's happening is this control panel is just cheap. The reason why it keeps beeping is because the sensors on here are really cheap and I'll show you once we open it up. The problem is that we have to take a lot apart just to get to this. The best way to do that is just going to go grab yourself a cordless drill and remove all the screws. And when I say all the screws, uh, the ones needed to get to the panel. <laughs> What we're going to do is we're going to slide that whole unit right out of there. Go ahead and get rid of the furniture. And we're going to start, I think, if I remember right, we're going to remove this front panel. and it's going to reveal the electronics. Be careful on this because we don't want to damage the electronics. We're going to be disabling some things, but we got to be careful of this main board. So let's go ahead and remove the screws holding it. Some little tiny ones. Go ahead and pull that panel out of there, and you're going to see a whole bunch of springs right here. So what we have is all these springs here. If you remember the old touch lamps that you used to get early in the, in the 80s, I think it was. It was a big thing. You touch the lamp and it would turn it on. That's basically how these are working, and it just does not work well with this this type of heater. It's it's actually a bad design. So all we're going to do. We're going to take that spring out of there, like that, and we're either going to break it off or we're going to cut it. So we're going to go ahead, we're just going to cut that spring right off. We're going to do that to all of them. Because what's happening is some interference going on there for some reason, one re reason or another. Oh, that one was able to come off there pretty good. There it is. That's going to solve all our problems. Let's go ahead and put it all back together. Now I'm not going to bother putting this back in the furniture. I'm just going to go ahead and test it right just like this. Plug that back in. Nothing should work on here in the front, but we should be able to use the remote. And there it is. We can go ahead and put the temperature up and down. We can turn it off, turn it on. Everything is working fine. So I'm going to go ahead and let this run for a little bit and see if it starts beeping at us. It shouldn't. These little springs here is what's causing the problem. Go ahead and put it back in the furniture. So as you can see, these springs here, this is just a bad design. So what's happening is there's some interference going on in there. It's causing the unit to just a beep. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Just go ahead and cut these out. 
But without this remote, this fix is not gonna do you any good. So keep that in mind. I think what I'm gonna do now is call up my buddy that brought, dropped this off and tell him, listen, you can take it back and you're good to go. Thanks an awful lot for watching and we'll see you on the next one.